OxyMBBS, one step solution for all medical studies. Hi friends, in this video I am going to tell you very simple tricks with the help of which you can easily remember all the glucose transporters present in our body with full confidence. Okay, so let's begin. So this is an apple and from the apple we get glucose and fructose. Now this glucose is able to enter into the enterocyte through this transporter and this transporter as it is present in the small intestine and first time the glucose is entering into the enterocyte through this transporter that is why its name must have number one okay as it is present in the small intestine and the glucose is transporting through this transporter that is why its name must be s g l u t sodium glucose transporter number one so through this transporter glucose is entering into the enterocyte from the lumen of the small intestine now as the name suggests fructose so for this from this f in the fructose we can easily derive number five from f it is five it means for the transport of fructose there must be glute five glute five glucose transporter Number 5 is related to fructose transport from the lumen of the small intestine into the enterocyte. Now, second time the glucose will enter into the bloodstream through this transporter as first time from this transporter and second time from this transporter. So, its name must have number 2. So, here is number 2 and what is transporting through this transporter? Glucose. So, glute. Two, its name must have GLUT2 and GLUT2 is responsible for the transport of glucose as well as fructose both okay now from the blood glucose and fructose will be transported to the peripheral tissues okay now this RBC present in the blood will take this glucose through which transporter it is very simple as B in the RBC itself saying that I am related to number one so for the transport of glucose into the rbc rbc have what glute one the peripheral tissue will take glucose through which transporter from p it is primary and primary means number first one degree or number first it means peripheral tissue will take glucose through which transporter glute number first as a peripheral tissues are taking these glucose for the for what for their normal activity that is why uptake of glucose by the peripheral tissue for their normal activity is called as basal glucose uptake okay now this b in the basal itself saying that i am related to number one now friends this is our fetus and fetus is having this placenta so placenta is having p and from p primary and primary means one degree it means placenta will have what glute first and similar to this fetus means first number first so fetus will have glute first transporter now as you all know our brain is covered by this protective layer that is called as the blood brain barrier and as b in the blood brain barrier itself saying that i am related to number one it means blood brain barrier will have glute number first so through the blood brain barrier glucose will transport through which transporter it is glute first and also the brain brain is also having this b so b means number one so brain will have glute first so blood brain barrier and brain both will have glute first transporter okay now from the blood glucose will be taken up by the cardiac muscles these are the muscles of the heart and as you all know heart is covered by these fatty tissues now as you all know heart is covered by all around by the protective tissues and these are the adipose tissues adipose tissues they are adipose tissues adipose tissues or fat cells and fat cells of all over the body remember it okay fat cells of all over the body and from these muscles of the heart cardiac muscles we can derive skeleton muscles also it means cardiac muscles and skeletal muscles and fat cells of all over the body 
will take up glucose by which transporter they will take glucose by number 4 transporter as f in the fat is related to number 4 and as you all know heart is having how many chambers 1 2 3 and 4 four chambers it means cardiac muscles will take up glucose by which transporter glute number 4 and along with cardiac muscles you can also remember the skeletal muscles skeletal muscles also have same glucose transporter glute 4 okay now friends these fat cells or adipocytes cardiac muscles and skeletal muscles are not able to take up glucose by their own and they need insulin for their glucose uptake so these are only the cells which are dependent on the insulin for their glucose uptake now how will you remember that fat cells or adipocytes heart muscles skeletal muscles are dependent on the insulin for their glucose uptake it is again very simple so we have number 4 and insulin so we have to link this number 4 that is glute 4 transporter with the insulin it is again very simple from 4 we can make this word foreigner foreigner is informer foreigner is informer so from 4 it is number 4 and from in in the foreigner it is related to insulin in the informer same thing is there from in it is insulin and from 4 it is number 4 so insulin is related to glute 4 and glute 4 are present in the fat cells cardiac muscles and skeletal muscles so just remember either foreigner or informer whatever you want to remember from both you can easily derive number 4 and insulin now coming to beta cells of the pancreas so just pronunciate beta as b2 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 cell which cells b2 b2 cells so in the word b2 itself has what number 2 it means beta cells of the pancreas has which transporter it has glute 2 transporter and the function of these glute 2 transporter in the beta cells is just to sense blood glucose level so if the blood glucose level is high in the blood then insulin will be secreted so the glute 2 transporter is just for the sense of glucose is just for the sense of glucose in the in the blood okay is just for the sense of glucose in the blood now coming to the kidney tubules now tubules tubules is itself saying that i am having number 2 so because of ultra filtration the glucose from the blood enters into the bowman's capsule and from the bowman's capsule the glucose enters into the proximal convoluted tubule and from the proximal convoluted tubule it is taken up in the tubular cells and again it is expelled or reabsorbed from the basolateral membrane of the proximal tubular cell and they are expelled into the blood stream so here has what glute 2 and here has s g l u t 2 tubular cells will have number 2 but the difference is only that on the basolateral membrane there is presence of glute 2 transporter and on the apical membrane there is presence of sglut2 okay now sperm takes fructose sugar fructose sugar through which transporter as from the p in the sperm we can easily derive number 5 okay so number 5 or glute 5 is present in the sperm for the uptake of fructose now on the endoplasmic reticulum of the hepatocytes this is the endoplasmic reticulum of the hepatocyte and endoplasmic reticulum of hepatocyte has what glute 7 for the transport of glucose 6 phosphate from the endoplasmic reticulum into the cytoplasm now the coding for e is what 3 and coding for r is what four now friends if you don't know about these codings then don't worry please watch my separate video on 
कोडिंग्स फॉर मेकिंग नेमोनिक इन विच आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड ऑल थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू कोडिंग्स ओके सो यू कैन चेक लिंक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड वेन वी विल एड नंबर थ्री एंड फोर देन इट बिकम्स ऑब्वियसली वॉट नंबर सेवन इट मीन्स एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ऑफ द हिपेटोसाइट हैज विच ट्रांसपोर्टर इट हैज ग्लूट सेवन ट्रांसपोर्टर एंड फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट फ्रॉम द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इन टू द साइटोप्लाज्म सो फ्रेंड्स अगेन फ्रॉम द ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्टर्स ग्लूकोज इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड बाय टू मैकेनिज्म वन इज सेकेंडरी एक्टिव ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज फैसिलिटेटेड डिफ्यूजन For the secondary active transport, we have SGLT1 and SGLT2. Now, as you all know, where they are present, SGLT1 is present on the small intestine, and SGLT2 is present on the kidney tubular cells. Now, for the facilitated diffusion, we have GLUT1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 6. So, where these GLUT1 are present, they are present in the peripheral tissues for the basal glucose uptake, blood-brain barrier (RBCs), brain, and placenta. glut2 transporters beta cells of the pancreas and intestinal and tubular cells for the transport of glucose out of the cell next is glut3 it is present in the tissues where glut1 are present okay so wherever glut1 is present glut3 is also present there okay now coming to glut4 they are present in the heart muscles skeletal muscles and fat cells or adipose sites glut5 is small intestine and sperm in the small intestine glut5 is meant for the fructose uptake okay fructose uptake now coming to glut7 7 is number 7 can be derived from the er it means endoplasmic reticulum of the hepatocytes now glut6 is a product of pseudo gene pseudo means pseudo pseudo means number 6 so glut6 is the product of pseudo gene that is why it has no use so friends only this much glucose transporters you need to remember for your pg entrance examination so if you want to take a snapshot of this whole list of important glucose transporters then you can take the snapshot of this list okay